look at that cheese pull. You got to do the cheese pull. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Woo! In today's video, we're trying something we've never tried before. Why? Because in our last video, two masters suggested, please try doing a 24 hour challenge at the worst rated restaurants in your area. And because you received over 550 likes, I accept your challenge. I traveled to Toronto and found three one star rated restaurants New Tasty Chicken House on Queen Street East, Garfield Eats Toronto on Bloor Street West, and Wing Machine up on Eglinton Avenue West. Are these really one-star rated restaurants? Well, let's find out together. So grab something to eat, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Unfortunately, when we arrived at our first restaurant called the New Tasty Chicken House Dining and Takeout, it was closed. And apparently after reading the Yelp reviews, they don't even serve food anymore. So it's off to our second location. We are now at Garfield Eats Toronto. It is on Bloor Street. I'm looking across the street right now. And I'm not sure 100% if it's open. Uh, looks kind of dark and I don't see anybody going in or out. But uh, one of the comments that somebody said, uh, one of their reviews is from a lady by the name of Carolyn. She said, soggy pizza, slow service, sides offered were fries or salad and they were out of both, no washrooms, very limited seating, three stools. So uh, that was Carolyn's uh, little review. Uh, it is a one star. I, I wouldn't have thought it would have been a one star. I don't know why. I just thought it would be at least three stars or more. But uh, let's go see if the pizza's any good. Looks like it's open. One well, they do have lasagna, for sure. Download to eat. It's got a big, huge Garfield teddy bear. I hate Mondays. All right, let's do it. Oh, what? Hello. Can we order food or? Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. Wait, just give me one. Sure. First time here. I don't know what to order. I think the Jim Davis would be like the one of the more popular ones, or? Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna do your Jim Davis and definitely a small lasagna. And I'll try your fries. All right, I'll take it. All right. Thanks. Thank you, have a great day, sir. Thank you. Ciao. All right, guys, we are back in the car. I had to turn the air conditioner on because it is really, really hot out today. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and try it at our first one star restaurant. I don't, there's a part of me is wondering why it's a one star restaurant. Like, it doesn't make, it just, just the whole idea of it and the smell of the food in there doesn't seem like it's a one-star restaurant. I'm not sure why everybody was complaining in the reviews, but it's $35. There's no breakdown. I'll uh, put it on the screen somewhere. Uh, again, I got the medium pizza, uh, a, a piece of chocolate, and I think these are the fries. Look at that little, it's like a crayon case of fries and our lasagna is made with four cheese and ricotta and they had a special oven doing that uh, i'm gonna let the, the pizza sit there for a minute we'll try these fries first i've already washed my hands and sterilized everything so let's start eating mmm nice and salted nice and salty i like them and they're crispy fries and those fries are awesome 
I, I get these every time I came here. So far, it's not a one star. It's amazing because everything is branded except the forks and the napkins. I'm surprised they didn't do the napkins too because the pizza box look amazing. That looks amazing. Fantastic orange throughout all the boxes and containers. Even this pizza box, look at this pizza box. Let's check it out. That's amazing. Love me, feed me, don't leave me. Okay, Garfield. Let's get into this lasagna. See how that tastes. Looks nice and gooey. Oh yeah, oh look at that cheese pull. You gotta do the cheese pull. And I get a big piece on the first bite. Not the easiest thing to cut with a fork. Wow, that looks good. Ooh, smells fantastic. Let's do this. Mmm. A little sprinkling of Parmesan on the top. Great flavors of cheese. Oh, this is yummy. The pasta, I guess it would be the, the lasagna pasta. That's perfectly fine. I'm not sure if everybody complains about the uh, the pizza or do they complain about everything again I'm not sure if a chunk of lasagna this size should be as much money I'm not 100% sure but look at that ricotta in there you can see the meat and the whole thing is lovely it's got the right amount of tomato sauce right amount of meat, layers of lasagna noodles or pasta. Not one thing wrong with that at all. Still not a one star restaurant in my books. Let's move on to this pizza. Let's hope it is dynamite. And it is in the shape of Garfield. And we've been talking off and on, on live shows and other videos about putting uh, pineapple on pizza and it's something I would never normally order but it's the Jim Davis so I gotta do it gotta try it all right so nice thin crust and it looked like they had like a like a stone oven um, I, I was gonna ask him and I totally forgot at the last second I was gonna ask but but they had like one oven and it looked like a stone oven not too many pizza places around still use a stone oven like that all right, let's see if it's perfectly cooked on the bottom. Yep, let's do this. Mmm. That is nice, man. I have to look up the ingredients of that. It's sweet and savory at the same time. And not because I, I don't think I got a piece of pineapple on that first bite. Let's just do this little pineapple. I know a lot of you guys love pineapple on pizza. I said I don't. I don't mind it. I just personally never order it. Okay, another bite. Can't wait to get to that crust. It almost tastes like the uh, tomato sauce is sweet. The crust is nice and crunchy. You go to uh, pizza places and you get that little bit of char on the bottom. I like that. Adds a little bit more flavor to it. So, I was told a while ago by other subscribers of mine to come here. Either they've been here or they thought it was a really cool idea and other people have made videos on this place but I never heard any complaints about it until I typed in worst restaurants in Toronto on Yelp and it was probably number one uh, number two or three uh, not saying that it was the worst it was just the, the least 
star rated and I can't remember how many people have rated it one star but I I I don't know why they the people rate it one star because it's fun it's perfectly fine it's not soggy of course they don't have any stools in there because of COVID they don't want people eating in there yeah I don't know what people are complaining about chances are it was an ex-employee who got fired <laughs> and went on a rant. But there's nothing wrong with any of this food. Garfield Eats Toronto. You make good food. Can't wait to eat the rest of this Garfield head later on. Or maybe tomorrow for lunch. Last but not least, this little uh, chocolate. Uh, when he handed it to me, I'm not sure if it was the lighting, it looked like it was old chocolate. So let's open this up, get our chocolate fix for the day. I saw them all sitting there. I wasn't sure if it's just like a design thing or they actually sold these chocolates. And I'm not sure if, oh no, it melted a little bit in the box with the heat of the pizza. I try to keep it away from it as much as possible. But check this out. Yeah, it's a little, little, it looks like it's a little on the old side. So the people who work at the Garfield Eats Toronto, you might want to go through your chocolate bars and just make sure you're not giving out chocolate bars uh, that look like it's old chocolate. That would be my only complaint so far about this whole thing. But let's bite, it might be, might taste fine. It just might have that aging look to it. I'm pretty sure you'll agree. Yeah. It tastes like old chocolate. I think I'd rather have milk chocolate in this spe uh, specific setting. It has a chalky, chalky um, texture in my mouth. So, Garfield Eats, go through your chocolate bars and don't give out the old chocolate to people because that's disappointing. Yeah. No good on chocolate bars. All right, guys, if I was writing a review on Yelp for Garfield Eats Toronto, I would give it a three to three and a half star for basically everything. Uh, the restaurant, the employees, the food, the packaging, but the actual, I'd give it a five star for this, the whole concept of it. The place is clean, it looks nice. I liked being in there and, and looking at all the things that they're selling and reading all the little comic strips. But again, having all their branding across all their boxes and stuff, just, just the whole package looks great. Well, there you go. That is my rating of the Garfield Eats. If you're downtown Toronto, give it a shot. Now let's move on to the next one star rated restaurant. We are now at the next one star rated restaurant called Wing Machine on Eglinton Avenue West in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And the top comment was from a gentleman named Bill and he said, not fit for dog food. I was shocked at how bad these wings were. These were the worst wings I probably have ever had in my entire life. The ribs were disappointing, fries and garlic bread were okay. So let's go over to Wing Machine, grab some food, come back here and eat it with you and see if it's really rated one star or not. Let's go. Wings and fries special. Poutine special, pizza special, walk-in special. Hello. Hello. How are you? Can I do a half pound of honey garlic and a half pound of buffalo wings with, with fries? Have a great day. Bye-bye. Let's go eat. I'm not sure how she divided this all up. Let's see, I think this is the fries, maybe? Oh, no. This is just the half pound of wings. And she gave me the honey garlic. That smells good. I'm not sure if the, uh, the dog food comment 
was necessary. Let's go in for a close-up. All right, guys, you be the judge. These wings look totally fine to me. The sauce is plentiful. The wings look perfectly cooked. This is my favorite wing right here. Check that out. I like the flats over the drummets. So a flat is like the forearm. The drummets are like little chicken legs and they are crazy hot. Wow. I think the guy said in that comment too that they were dry and he could get hardly any meat off it. Like really exaggerating. So let's try it. Not dry at all. So far, perfectly juicy wings. Mmm. That's really nice. I love Honda garlic. Guys, I don't see anything wrong with that wing at all. Let's go for a drum it. Just in case. It looks juicy too. This is dripping. starting to question the ratings that people give restaurants the only way to find out for sure is to go there yourself like I did and order some stuff and find out if it is good or not I like twist it and the bone comes apart like that pull that one bone off like that oh ow 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 Woo! Super hot. Do you see that? Does that look dry to you? I don't think so. What are these people talking about? It's possible that it was a different location that the person was talking about. It might have been under different management. It might have been a bad day. Once again, a disgruntled employee who got fired for coming in late. So I'm gonna get him back. I'm gonna write a bad review. Guess what? Didn't work. Ooh, buffalo wings and fries. Okay, here's your extreme close-up of the hot wings and fries. Like I said, the fries have like a little bit of a coating on them. Makes them all puffy like that. And then we go over to these hot wings. You can see the seasoning. You can see all that beautiful sauce. Once again, buffalo wings are one of my favorite style of wings besides the honey garlic. I think the first time I ever had wings was the buffalo wings. All right, let's get into it. So you said the fries are good. These ones look like they have like a little bit of a coating on them. They're golden brown. A little crunchy. Hmm. Who makes fries like that? I'm not sure they taste like um, Burger King fries, maybe. They're pretty good. He's right on that. Before we start, I need to cleanse the palate with some beautiful Pepsi. Cheers. Ah, oh, thank you, Pepsi. Oh, that tastes so good. All right, guys, let's go in once again for a flat. Let's bite it. Not too sure about this. Um, ooh, they're hot. Holy spicy hot. Holy, holy. I'm not sure if she just used a hot sauce, but it's definitely not a buffalo sauce. Like buffalo wing sauce has a definite distinctive taste. And this has nothing like that. It almost tastes like mustard. That is the weirdest sauce I have ever had. And I've had a lot of different wings from a lot of different restaurants. And when you ask for buffalo, it tastes like buffalo sauce. And this definitely does not taste like buffalo sauce. It's like a cross between ketchup, 
ketchup, I'm not kidding, ketchup, barbecue sauce, uh, um, mustard, and like sriracha or, or Frank's hot, like all combined together. That's what this tastes like. Somebody made it themselves. If this is their buffalo wing, um, I would, I would, I would not order it again. But it might be just their hot, their hot, their hot sauce. Definitely, I wouldn't order that hot sauce again. Uh, let me know if you've been to the wing machine and ordered the hot wings. And you have to agree with me on that. It is definitely not buffalo sauce. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, it's so hot. Ah. <coughs> Let's move on. Got to clear the throat once again, people. Wow. If you do like hot sauce, give that a try. It's my nose is running. I'm starting to sweat. I've got the air conditioner on and I'm starting to sweat because of those hot wings. Whew. Let's move on to the, the ribs, shall we? Ooh. All right, guys, here's the extreme close up of those baby back ribs, those very large baby back ribs. As you can see, they're shiny and glistening with sauce. I, she didn't ask me what flavor I wanted. She just made it, so maybe it's just their own house barbecue sauce but bill said they're disgusting right bill still hot which is good took a little time to get everything organized and eat my wings now it's rib time does that look disgusting to you i don't know let's bite it a little chewy off the bone the barbecue flavor is really nice. Nice and smoky. Some of you guys like fall off the bone. Some of you guys like to pull the meat off the bone. This is a pull the meat off the bone type rib. They are a little chewy. But the flavor is good. I'm just trying to think if I'd order them again. For 11 bucks? But I wouldn't say they're disgusting. All the rest of that is like fatty gristle or something. It's starting to taste like, um, you know, like Chinese food spare ribs. It's got that flavor to it. This side's a little dry. I wouldn't classify these as disgusting, but I definitely wouldn't order them again. If I was downtown Toronto and I wanted some ribs, uh, I probably wouldn't go to Wing Machine to get them now that I've experienced them once. Uh, but I'm glad I did just to see if the rating fit it. I think Bill was exaggerating a little bit when he said they were disgusting. Once again, it is time to agree or disagree with the one star rating. I would 100% disagree at being a one star rating. Uh, Overall, the place would probably get at least a two to two and a half star. Uh, the food wasn't super fantastic. Uh, the wings, especially the honey garlic, were right up my alley. And I'd probably give the honey garlic wings uh, a, a three to three and a half star. They were nice and juicy. They were big. Uh, she gave you quite a bit. And the flavor of the honey garlic was awesome. If you like hot sauce, you might want to try that hot, hot sauce. Again, it had a very... Uh, mustardy type flavor and it definitely uh, made my eyes water made my nose run so if you're into that super hot sauce you might want to try this place out uh, I would definitely not try the uh, the ribs the ribs were very gangly let's call it uh, they, they had lots of cartilage and fat and they were a little on the dry side so don't do the ribs I agree with that guy Bill the ribs weren't that great. I wouldn't call them disgusting. Uh, again, I tried them once. I like the flavor of the barbecue sauce on it, and that's pretty much where it stands. Once again, I'd like to thank Two Masta for giving us the suggestion of coming downtown Toronto and trying the worst restaurants. It was really kind of fun to debunk the one-star restaurants and find out for myself if they're any good. And to all those people, the 550 people that liked your comment and rose that comment to the top. 
All you guys are fantastic. Leave comments again and whoever is the next person with the most likes, that is the thing I'll be doing. If you love these videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this phenomenal playlist and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.